Tesla recently announced a new and improved GigaPress for their Cybertruck production line, and I believe it is a game changer for the automobile industry. So what is this new machine all about, and why is this so important for Tesla? Stick around as I discuss that in this video. What is GigaPress? Before we get into the new Cybertruck GigaPress, let's look at what a GigaPress actually is. If you're unfamiliar with the Tesla manufacturing process, all its cars, batteries, and other ancillary products are manufactured in giant factories known as Gigafactories. Tesla currently operates five Gigafactories. Gigafactory 1, 2, and 5 are located in the US, while 3 is located in China and 4 in Germany. Gigafactories allow Tesla to control the entire production process of their vehicles, from the raw materials to the finished product. This vertical integration helps to keep costs down and improve quality control. If you ever get a chance to roam the floors of a Gigafactory, you can really see why Elon keeps repeating that for Tesla. The factory is the actual product. Anyways, these Gigafactories are also some of the world's largest car assembly lines and pack some of the most innovative automobile production technology the world has ever seen. One such technology is the Gigapress, a behemoth of a machine that die-casts aluminum to create the main chassis elements of a Tesla car. Each Tesla production line has several of these machines, which are integral to the overall manufacturing of Tesla vehicles. In simple terms, a Gigapress is a massive machine used to stamp out entire sections of cars in one go. If you had ever played with toy cars or Lego bricks, you would have held a die-casted material without realizing it. Most toys are made using a method known as injection molding and die-casting. This is where hot molten plastic is injected into molds or dies, and once cooled, out pops the solid shape of the toy. It is a very effective way of mass manufacturing plastic goods. In effect, this is the same principle applied in a Gigapress, however, on a much larger scale, and it is molten aluminum alloy instead of plastic. These kinds of metal presses have been in the automobile sector for years. Still, they were generally used to make smaller parts of the car, which were then assembled together to form the entire structure. Not satisfied with this, Elon and Tesla's engineers took it to a whole nother level with their gigapresses. For the first time ever, they created a machine that allowed an automobile manufacturer to cast an entire vehicle segment in one go, speeding up the manufacturing process by orders of magnitude. These new gigapresses are 20 meters long, 7.5 meters tall, and 6 meters wide. They're so big that they require over 20 flatbed trucks to transport just one. These machines weigh more than 400 tons and can apply a clamping force of over 61,000 kilonewtons, equivalent to over 6,100 tons of pressure per square foot. Molten aluminum alloy, weighing approximately 80 kilograms or 180 pounds, is injected into the super chilled casting mold at 10 meters per second or 22 miles per hour. The press is then closed and it takes the machine machine around 80 to 90 seconds to complete the casting. Once the casting is complete, the segment is removed and the open mold is cooled to a temperature of 185 degrees Celsius or 365 degrees Fahrenheit. A fresh batch of molten aluminum alloy is prepared for the next cycle to begin one to two minutes after the first cycle. This insane process continues over and over again, allowing the Gigapress to reach an output rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour, which translates to more than 1,000 castings per day. And what's more, the entire the entire process is automated, and not a single human is required to operate a Gigapress. Specially designed robots lubricate the mold at the beginning of each cycle, then a separate one injects the molten alloy into the mold. Another robot reaches in and removes the casting after the process is complete, and quenches it in a water tank, while a different robot cleans the mold and prepares it for the next cycle. The finished casting is then handed over to another robot, which puts it through a mechanical press that trims off the excess aluminum and rounds the edges. The casting is then x-rayed for quality control and a final laser-guided CNC robot drills in all the holes that will be used to assemble it with other sections to form the body of the car. If this is not impressive enough for you, imagine a row of gigapresses producing different castings of different parts of the car all at the same time, then handing them over to a column of fully automated robots that assemble the various pieces together to build the car's final shape. And all this is done before a human hand even touches the vehicle. Now that is true automation. The invention of the gigapress has been one of the most innovative technologies developed in the automotive sector since Henry Ford first invented the assembly line. It replaces the age-old tradition of automobile manufacturers casting smaller components and bolting hundreds of them together to form the chassis. Instead, with the development of the Gigapress, Tesla only has to deal with three major chassis components, the front and rear structures and the car bed that houses the battery pack. This makes production extremely efficient, safe, and fast. The Gigapress is just one example of the company's commitment to innovation and unique approach to manufacturing. But we all 
all know by now that Elon will not be happy with just one creation, so Tesla engineers have gone even beyond this time around. When talking about how the first gigapresses came about in an interview, Elon said, When we were trying to figure this out, there were six major press manufacturers in the world. We called each one of them. Five said no, and one said maybe, and we said, great, let's go with the maybe. So we went with the maybe, and it worked out well. This company was the Idra Group, an Italian company known for its die-casting machines. The company already had massive die-casting machines in its catalog, but Elon was looking for something even bigger. So, working together with Tesla engineers, they created the first customized gigapresses for Tesla's Fairmont factory called DCM 1 and 2. Both these presses became operational in late 2020 and were responsible for Model Y's single-piece rear casting. The next evolution of the gigapress saw the development of the OL 6100 CS models for Tesla's German gigafactory and the Impress Plus DCC 6000 models for its Chinese gigafactory. Both these machines can stamp out not just the rear segment, but also the front and the entire crash structure of the Model Y as a single piece. Then, in early 2021, Elon announced that for the production of the Cybertruck, Tesla would need an even bigger gigapress, with a clamping force of over 8,000 tons. And after months of teasing, in late May of 2022, we finally got confirmation of this new gigapress, when Idra tweeted a video showing the assembly of its new 9,000-ton gigapress machine. This new Cybertruck gigapress is the biggest and most powerful stamping machine that Idra has ever built. Although not a whole lot is known about this 9,000-ton gigapress, it is explicitly designed to stamp out the structures of the new Tesla Cybertruck, which is due to come to market next year with the potential for production to start near the end of 2022. But what I know from inside sources is that this new model of Gigapress will be able to stamp out the entire rear body, the truck bed, and the crash structure as single sections, making the Cybertruck production line the fastest and the most efficient of any other vehicle in the Tesla lineup. My sources also say that the new model will be capable of stamping out body parts for other Tesla models at an unprecedented rate, improving the cycle speed up to 10 times faster than the traditional 6,000-ton Gigapresses, depending on the segment. Now that will be an enormous improvement. With this new technology, Tesla will definitely plan to ramp up the production of their highly anticipated electric vehicles, including the Cybertruck, Model 3, and Model Y. This makes perfect sense to me, given Tesla's future goals and the demand for their cars rising worldwide. So maybe introducing this new Gigapress will not only help the production of the Cybertruck and other Tesla models, but it will finally make the $25,000 Tesla model, which Elon had promised us, a reality. With this new Gigapress, Tesla can significantly significantly reduce the cost of production by stamping out entire segments of cars at one go and also speed up the whole assembly process. So, there is no reason why that elusive common man's cheap Tesla model can't be a reality in the near future. But either way, I think this new Gigapress from Tesla is truly a game changer in the automotive industry. I mean, this machine is a gigantic leap forward. It is so beyond the capabilities of other existing presses in the market that it will give Tesla an enormous manufacturing edge over its competitors. As if that was not enough, even the next best press in the market is a Tesla Gigapress. So you can see that unless other legacy car manufacturers like Toyota or Volkswagen can develop better manufacturing technologies or incorporate these Gigapresses into their own assembly lines, then they will be left behind and probably never be able to catch up with Tesla. That's it from me. What do you think about Tesla's new gigantic Gigapress? Do you think it'll be a game changer for Tesla in the coming years? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed the content. Thank you for watching and come back for more.